JB9 Jetpack Last year, Jetpack Aviation's JB9 Jetpack was dramatically revealed, making the dream of personal flight a reality. David Mayman, a designer and pilot, took off from a boat and used the strong, nimble JB9 to circle the Statue of Liberty before landing and saluting. Depending on the weight of the pilot, the JB-9 can fly for more than 10 minutes and has two vector jet engines that run on kerosene. It can also achieve high speeds and altitudes. Flyboard Air Powered by gas turbines invented by Frenchman Frankie Zapata in 2011 and developed by the company Zapata Industries. The device can fly up to 190 km an hour with an autonomy of about 10 minutes which corresponds to about 31 km. Frankie Zapata participated in the July 14, 2019 military parade aboard his invention and caused a sensation. In August of the same year, he crossed the English Channel with a stopover on the second attempt. Flyk. The Flyk development project was launched in the summer of 2014 on the initiative of a few flight enthusiasts in the Bay of Zoltan non-profit LTD, the largest applied research institute network in Hungary. In no more than six months, the integrated Flyk demonstrator concept took off from Miskolch airfield. Flyk is a revolutionary, fully electric device. It is equipped with lithium polymer batteries allowing approximately 15 to 20 minutes of hovering, which extends to 30 to 40 minutes in cruise. Ascent is provided by six carbon composite rotors, directly driven by individual electric disc motors, resulting in the highest possible efficiency and zero emissions by definition. Molnar G2 Propeller Rolling Ground A two-seater gyrocopter serves as Molnar's aerial vehicle. Because of the nature of his work as an aeronautics engineer and pilot, Molnar was well aware that he wished to control flying objects. He is now using his newest technology to communicate to the sky rather than the air. The Molnar G2 is a high-performance, flight-capable car designed to inspire a new generation of inventors. It was envisioned as the first step to changing everything about how we think about street-legal aircraft. A traditional ground-based car and a gyrocopter, a common flying device in use since the 1920s, are combined in Molnar's design. The design guards against malfunctions. If the engine fails, the plane will float downward, which may be helpful if we want to prevent crashed flying objects from falling from the sky. Real-life Iron Man Richard M. Browning, the ex-soldier who's created an amazing working jetpack, 
What is it like to fly in a real-life Iron Man suit? According to the inventor of this incredible working prototype, it's like riding a bicycle in three dimensions. Six tiny jet engines, identical to those found in jet-powered model airplanes, are mounted on the lower back and arms to provide propulsion. Despite the suit's ability to travel at high speeds and altitudes, Browning is presently using some restraints. According to him, the suit can fly in most places, reports RedBull.com. Normal operation sees the wearer flying at no more than a couple of meters, despite being capable of flying at several hundred miles per hour and at thousands of feet. We assume the adage that comes with great power also comes with tremendous responsibility is accurate, even if that is from Spider-Man and not Iron Man.